To continue our insulation test, I'm going to compare natural wool fiber, which I requested and received as a sample, and this polyester batting. Now I cut the polyester batting close to the size of the sample that I received. It may be a little higher in loft, a little greater in volume than the wool. This is 45 grams and this is also 45 grams so they're the same weight even though the polyester may be a little bit thicker now as I do with the other insulation I'm going to take this insulation fill my container with water and soak them in the water for 24 hours and then I'll come back allow them to drip dry and weigh them and what I want to examine is of course how much water do they absorb how much moisture is absorbed Try to be fair, they are submerged equally. So now they're both definitely under the water. The insulation has been in this bucket for a little over 24 hours. And now we're gonna remove it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to let it dry for the same amount of time in the sun on this old chair here. So basically what I did was I just placed them on a six inch board at an angle and they're drip drying right now. I'm going to let them do that for about let's say 30 minutes and then we'll come back and weigh them and see how much water they retained. The insulation has been sitting here drip drying for 30 minutes, 35 minutes and both of them were still dripping water. All right, and the wool is still dripping squeezing them out trying to get as much water out of them as possible kind of shake them so that they get rid of as much water as we can and Polyester is at 90. And the wool, well, look at that. That's really something. I never expected that. Let's zoom in on that. Oop. The wool is 90. And the polyester is 90. So they're, whoop, 95. But remember, got a resolution on the meter of, of uh, 5 grams. So they're basically the same. 
Um, now that I rang them out, I'm going to let them sit here for another 10 minutes. Flip this board over so that it's dry. And uh, see if it keeps uh, drying up a little bit. And my friends, my friends are here. My almost daily delivery from Amazon. Doing? doing good, sir. Awesome. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, those guys come and deliver something almost, almost every day. So, we're going to let that dry again for another 10 or 15 minutes out in the sun just like that and see what happens. One of the things I notice is just from standing here looking, the, the wool has flattened out a little bit. The polyester is still kind of fluffy. Both of these have been sitting on the, out in the sun for the same amount of time. So we'll check out the wool. The wool is 75 grams. And the polyester is, oh my gosh, it's also 75 grams. Interesting. Okay, one thing I did notice is that when the wool got wet, let's see, get this out of here. When the wool got wet, it's not as it's not as high as it was before. So it's not going to continue to fill the space where the polyester is still fluffy or has, I guess, what they call loft um, in the garment industry, I guess. So since they both seem to react almost identically, I would go with the polyester for a couple reasons. I haven't even checked on the cost, but I expect that this is less expensive. I can buy this at Walmart. This is a natural fiber, and they do treat it with some type of, um, I think it's boric acid, so that it doesn't end up with bugs. And it is an organic material. So environmentally, it's probably better. But honestly, some people might not want to hear this, but I'm not trying to save the environment while I'm building my van. I'm trying to build a quality product. Um, and the wool is fine. I think the R value between the two of these is going to be the same. I don't know that for a fact. Polyester insulation around the world is commonly used. For some reason, it's not used in the United States much. But if you Google it, you'll find that they compare the R value of this insulation to be very similar or the same as fiberglass bat insulation. And the reason they use it is there's less itch and it's, it's much safer to use and you don't have to wear gloves when you're installing it. So this is pretty good stuff. This wool is great. I don't have a problem with it, but I'm not gonna use it because it flattens down too much. I think by the time I had the quantity shipped to me that I needed, I'd probably be better off with the, with the polyester. Plus, I can go buy this at Walmart, and if I need more, I can go back to Walmart and get it. This I'd have to buy and be very accurate in my calculation of how much I need it. So I see a lot of people using this, and uh, that's great. Our environment will be a little bit better for that. But uh, I'm sorry to say, but I'm, I'm going to go with this, and um, I, I'm, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. The little bit that's going to go in the van is not going to cause a big problem. may not be politically correct. may not be what some people want to hear, but it's the truth. <laughs>